I like to joke that I grew up in a Jersey diner, but it's actually a true story. My grandfather, um, Diego, came to this country from a small town called Tal in Galicia in Spain. And he was 16 at the time and he was alone. I like to think of him as being very brave to come here at that age and start a life for himself. He worked odd jobs as a laborer, uh, he saved his money, and eventually he built what would become our, our family diner. Doing my homework there and um, growing up there, I became an avid reader because there were, you know, afternoons you'd finish chores and whatnot and, and you would read. And the thing that always stuck out to me, there was a column by a guy named Mike Royko that I loved. Um, Mike Royko's column um, really spoke to me because he was kind of gritty, he was the champion of the working class, and he always spoke about issues of politics and justice. Um, and it lit a fire. I, I knew from a young age I wanted to get involved in law, to have that kind of advocacy and voice that lawyers have and the ability to make changes that a, that a lawyer can make. I am first generation um, college uh, in my family. I'm the first one to graduate from a four-year college. And it was, it was difficult because I didn't have mentors to ask about things like, you know, how do you take an LSAT exam or um, even just the basics. How do you navigate through college and making your own schedule? The, there's been a lot of moments in my career where I think people have underestimated me or maybe they didn't think I was um, going to be good enough or they, they had some preconceived notions uh, about the kind of work I was going to do. And you can call it a challenge. I actually think it's an asset when people underestimate me. I am often the most prepared lawyer in the room when I walk in for a court proceeding, a settlement conference, whatever it is. Um, because I think because I don't come from means, it's important to me that when I show up I'm completely prepared. And so people underestimating me usually counts against them. I'm very involved with um, mentoring law school students and college students because I, I, I went through that myself. To me it's a privilege. Every moment for me is exciting, it's fun, it's where my heart is, it's what I love to do. Um, so I really look forward to those moments when I can mentor other people who are coming up you know, the ladder just like me. I have, I've had so many incredible mentors throughout my career um, and people who have just championed me. They've gone to the mat and, and fought for me for that promotion or whatever. And for me, it's a privilege to be in a position where I can help others and get to do the same thing that others have done for me.